Hello, I'm Belkis Perez. Today on Coral Gables Now, the building may not be finished, but the Coral Gables Museum is planning for opening day. Meet the museum's executive director and find out what you can expect when you visit. The city of Coral Gables will be offering free CPR classes. I have the details on City News. Plus, if the shape of the economy is taking a toll on you, then it may be possible to pass those negative feelings on to your children. We'll show you how to parent during challenging times. What's inside this little white box can actually help you and police recover your stolen goods. Find out more about Data Dots later on in Coral Gables Now. Find out what the Coral Gables Library is doing to go green. Coral Gables Now starts right now. And welcome to the award-winning Coral Gables Now. I'm Belkis Perez. The current state of the economy is affecting everyone and all aspects of life, even parenting. Here to offer advice and tips through these challenging times is Peggy Sapp, President and CEO of Informed Families. Thank you so much, Peggy. Thank you. Thank you for having me. So tell me about the warning signs that parents should look for uh, during these stressful times. I think that the first person the parents need to monitor are themselves. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if you can understand what's going on with you and your husband and, and during those stressful times and not try to deliver a lot of messages to your children when you're under a lot of stress mm -hmm. because the message that you may want to deliver isn't what you're delivering. Mm -hmm. And to recognize that your children are like, oh, I don't know, they're like little radar. Yes. They know what's going on. And so you and your husband need to decide if you are in economic stressful times how you're going to deliver that message to your child so that they feel secure and that they know that it's not about them that your stress is not related to them that you love them and that things will be okay children need to hear that things will be okay do you think that people sh uh, should um, as a parent just um, keep those types of issues from their children and just not have them be involved in, you know, we're going through tough times or anything like that? Or? I think it depends on the age of the children, okay. how much you tell the children. But I do think that children know when things are not right in mm -hmm. a family. And so if, if you're able to verbalize the message and your child is old enough to hear it, then you need to just say, you know, we're going through some changes in our life with our jobs or, and we're dealing with that, mm -hmm. but it's not about you. And how can you, you know, it, it is very challenging right now. So many people going through um, economic situations and um, it's, it's very often people do take it home with them. So how can you avoid taking out that stress and that frustration on your child? We've seen child yes. abuse cases um, go up as a sure, result. Sure. I think the most important thing is when you get home, if you are a working parent, you need a few minutes all to yourself. And I would really recommend some meditation, mindful meditation. We have classes at our building at 2490 Coral Way. I'd recommend yoga. I'd recommend a few, to a few things to quiet yourself down. Because the moment you walk in the door, children want this, they want this, they want this. Yes. And so you have to say, please, I just need a few minutes and then we'll get into it. Okay. Don't make decisions when you're under pressure, when you're in a bad mood. We teach people to monitor their own moods. Make decisions when you're level or in a good mood. Making decisions when you're in a bad mood frequently are bad decisions. How about children? We've, we've talked about how to uh, alleviate the stress that you've got, but how about alleviating the stress that the child already has. Well, again, I think that's about talking. One of my favorite exercises is when you're having dinner, and I do mean you need to eat dinner with your children <laughs> and you need to look at them, and you ask the question, what was the best thing that happened to you today? Hmm. And you all tell that, and then you say, and what was the worst thing that happened to you today? And, and you tell that too, mom and dad and the kids. Now we're really communicating. Hmm. We're communicating about how I feel. Mm -hmm. And a lot of our feelings comes from our thinking. And then we start to identify that. But that's meaningful. Don't ask questions that say, how was school today? What are they that's thought? Yeah. What would you do? Nothing. So ask the other question that, that creates conversation. What are some other resources that can inform that informed families can offer parents to help them deal with children and any stress that they might have? 
Well, the thing that we can offer you are the classes that are going on in our building all the time. The other thing that we have is uh, a parent pilot kit, which is a notebook because things are constantly changing. Mm -hmm. And it has four main topics, brain development, which parents need to understand, the media, which mm -hmm. is a powerful influencer, and social norming. You need to be able to see the social norms that your children are living in, and you need to def tell your child if they're acceptable or not acceptable. And the fourth is form parent peer groups. You need to know your children's friends, parents, and you need to talk, and you need to agree on what's acceptable for those children. Because what do children have? They have peer groups, yeah, and they, they say, do everybody's groups. doing it. <laughs> so you need to know, and you need their phone numbers, and you need to be willing to call and talk to each other. And this, it's like a guidebook? It's, yes, it's a, it's a book, okay. and also we give classes. Like if okay. you decide you want to get together with uh, about 10 of your friends, we'll come and do the class for you, or you can come to our building. So it's, it's several ways you can get wow. the information. That's great to know. And then finally, I know that you've got a campaign. It's Red Ribbon Week, and it's yes. Miles of That's Quarters. Quarters. Okay, so explain that to me. Explain that. Red Ribbon Week is, of course, October 23rd through 31st nationwide, and we coordinate that. This year, though, we're really pushing individual responsibility. We're seeing that children don't know about their responsibility. Mm -hmm. And so Miles of Quarters is modeled after March of Dimes. When I was a little girl and uh, polio was rampant in this country, we all put our dimes in a little cardboard thing and put it in a fishbowl. When the salt vaccine, the polio vaccine was discovered, we all felt we were part of that. Our children don't have that. Mm. We tend to want to I don't know, do it for them. Yeah. This is a campaign that allows every child to put their quarter in, every adult to put their quarter in, and to understand that our choices and our consequences go together. That's very nice. And how can people get involved in this? I think they should call our office or go to our website. Mm -hmm. And our website is www.informedfamilies.org. All the information is on there, and we'd be happy to uh, send you information. Or you can call us, 305 eight five six four eight eight six well thank you so much peggy i appreciate the advice because let me tell you parenting is not easy it is not easy so thank you very much for that and and we look forward to your red ribbon week miles of quarters campaign thank you so much and if you want more information on the issues we discussed or for more parenting advice you can just go to the informed families website that's informedfamilies.org. You can also call them, uh, as Peggy said, at 305-856-4886. Coral Gables Now is just getting started. The Coral Gables Museum is taking shape. Meet the man that will greet you on opening day. Plus, the library is going green. How exactly, you may ask? We'll show you.